This is a comparison of the SIG M17 Pro Force Airsoft pistol compared to the real deal SIG Sauer P320 that I use. So the P320 is one of my main guns that I like to use. Um, and 9mm, of course, everything's kind of expensive right now and I'm always looking for other opportunities to do some dry fire training. I've got some laser systems that I've bought where I can put inside the P320, but there's no repeatability in most of the striker fire pistols. And so I was looking for something else. For my Glock system setup, I use a CERT pistol for a lot of my indoor dry fires, and it has an automatic reset. There wasn't anything particular for SIG until I saw the air gun setup and uh, saw that they did have a SIG Sauer made airsoft gun. This is the first and only airsoft gun that I've ever owned, but I've so far I'm pretty impressed with it. I really like it, and I like the ability to shoot in my backyard or in my house. Um, and still be able to practice and get some kind of dry fire and take care of the drills and everything that's a lot cheaper. So getting into it, here is the airsoft version and it looks really good, especially compared to the real deal. So I can't even tell too much of the difference other than picking it up here. The slide is a, comp is a different weight than the, um, the firearm version of this, but a lot of the controls and everything all look the same. Uh, the magazine is an actual kind of magazine size, which I really like, as opposed to some of the uh, fake magazines that you kind of see out there. Everything looks pretty darn good. And I mean, look at these sights here. So as a comparison, hopefully this is focusing for you. I mean, the sights are really nice. Everything looks really close um, to the real thing. Serial numbers and everything are on the right place. Switches, trigger. So that's pretty awesome. It even has a rail here so I can put the same accessories that I have on my um, actual firearm. Now picking up the real one, I don't even know if you can tell the difference too much. Obviously there's a lot more spring force in the real um, firearm since it's just shooting a lot bigger, heavier uh, items. This particular model is the RX model that came out many years ago. It has the red dot already kind of put into it and it has some slightly different suppressor height night sights that are on here. So they're a little bit different from this one, but I still think they're some pretty good sights. If you look at it here, it is almost indistinguishable as far as which one is airsoft and which one is the uh, firearm. So comparison wise. Now in the hand is probably what most of us would care about the most. And in the hand, you can tell that this is lighter. And the biggest thing here is the slide is, is a good deal lighter than the, um, the firearm version here. And we'll see that in a second. But once you add the weight of this magazine, the guns are actually about the same weight. So we'll put them here on a scale. So here we have the M17 without the magazine. We put it right here on the scale. And notice it's about one pound, one ounce. We add the magazine to it. And I got one pound, 10.7 ounces here. Here's the actual firearm, put it on a scale and I got one pound, 13 ounces. We're talking about a three ounce difference and let's not forget this one in particular has the red dot sight on it while my M17 does not. So as far as weight goes, once you have the magazine inside of it, it is a very, very good replication of that. Now I would take the M17, it take, comes apart very similar to um, the P320. One thing I really like about the M17 is it locks back when it's in, on an empty round. Uh, it locks back on an empty magazine. It has not been 100% all the time, but it is uh, pretty darn good because it's nice to be able to have that there for training purposes. But when you do lock it back, you can take it apart very similar to the regular firearm. And let's see if you can get a good look here. There's the inside of the slide. And then putting it back on the scale, we can see the slide's about nine ounces. And then the frame is about eight ounces. Okay. And so when we have the real firearm, block it back, 
pull it open. This one's being a little difficult today. Now here's the full size frame. Put it on a scale here. We got one pound, one ounce. So a lot heavier than the nine ounces of the, the airsoft version of the gun. Then we put the frame on here, back to just over one ounce heavier than the M17 frame. And so looking pretty good. Let's take a little comparison. These two in particular, so we'll notice that the M17 frame is a little bit shorter. And I think that is so that you could put the shorter slide on the top here, kind of like the M18 style, and it'll still fit. This one here is a, just a full size frame. But if we take a look, take a quick look at the fire control units, they're very similar. Obviously they're not the same since they're a little different. Um, one being a firearm and one being airsoft. And the M17 Pro Force, M17 Pro Force of course is coming with a manual safety here. And I kind of just got this because this is what it happened to have and it is going to be similar to the issued firearm that is out there. But I think it is going to make the compatibilities a little bit different. It almost looks like this fire control unit will fit in here. I have not had a chance to test it and I think just because of the safety it's not going to work out on these two particular frames. But swapping out these fire control units is pretty darn easy. You pretty much take, take the pin out and pop it out. If anybody's curious, this, these slides are not interchangeable. Fire control units are completely different on the tops here. This comes out a lot different. And so it won't interface with these. Next big question is do the accessories work? And I have my uh, original P320 holster here. And then I have this one here, which is built for a weapons mounted light. So. This is the actual firearm going in. Shoot, working just fine. Pull it out. And then there is the Pro Force. Feels a little bit looser, um, but however, it's still, it's still holding in there really nicely. All right, and so here's the Streamlight TLR1. that I use on, on my, um, my full duty gun here. And it fits just nicely on the same rail that the Airsoft one has. And it fits inside my holster just as well and still has the same amount of retention. So next up, we'd probably ask about triggers. And so this is the original P320 trigger. So here it is. That's that, let's reset. So this one in particular is a little smushy. I really still like this trigger, even though it might not look that great on camera, but I, I still really enjoy shooting this particular uh, trigger. And here we have the Airsoft one. It's a little bit thinner, but it's still good. Let's try that again. So here it is. There's very, very little take up here. It gets pretty firm right about there. And then there's the break. No reset, of course, but uh, I would say pretty good, not perfect, not a, not a direct comparison to the real deal, but again, this one isn't uh, a fixed trigger that's original out of the factory. I never went back up for the drop safe upgrade or anything because I, I kind of liked it so much that I really didn't want to change the feel of that trigger. So overall, I would say I really do enjoy um, having this as an option of a good training tool, maybe nothing is a one-to-one -one swap per se, but it still gives you some blowback. It makes a lot of noise. It gives me some good feedback. Um, and then I can do a little more manipulation with weapons that's different than just going out to the flat range and standing up straight. And so I really do enjoy the fact that I, I was able to get something like this to kind of help supplement the training that I would use on that. As far as using it in an airsoft environment, I, I think it would be fine. Um, running around training, but I I'm, unfortunately can't speak to that. Cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this review of the six hour M17 Pro Force airsoft gun compared to the real deal.